Hi, I'm Larry Kurz, a distinguished fellow and group leader in the material science division at Argonne National Laboratory. The drive to develop more efficient and reliable batteries has led to much research interest in energy storage technologies beyond the currently used lithium-ion batteries. New battery systems such as redox flow, chemical transformation, and multivalent batteries shown here are promising candidates for the next generation energy storage systems. One of the main challenges in developing new batteries beyond lithium ion, as well as uh, improvements to the current ones, is the selection and discovery of suitable electrolyte materials. Uh, the prospective article we will be talking about in this video concerns new strategies that we and others are developing to use computer-based screening to accelerate the electrolyte discovery process for these next generation batteries. The work described in this article is collaborative work between a team of scientists at Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory, University of California at San Diego, and Argonne National Laboratory, and it is part of the Joint Center for Energy Storage Research, a DOE-funded energy, energy hub. Lei Chang, uh, a member of the team at Argonne National Laboratory, will now describe this approach to the electrolyte discovery in more detail. The general screening strategy is to down select a pool of candidates based on successive property evaluations obtained from high throughput computations. As the pool of molecules pass through each tier, those that meet the selection matrix of that particular tier permeate down to the next tier for further selection. Therefore, candidates are selectively removed as they go down each tier. In this strategy shown in the scheme here, there are three tiers of selections. The properties shown in this scheme, namely redox potential, solubility, and stability, that are universally important for electrolytes in all types of batteries. They are calculated using automated, robust, high throughput calculations. After the top three tiers of selection, the unpromising candidates are excluded, while the promising candidates can be subject to more detailed studies if needed. Molecules that meet performance metrics are proposed for validation by experiment. In addition to selecting and screening for molecule candidates, our high throughput calculations also helps uh, build a large database of molecules that enables uncovering of a structure property relations ships to develop design principles. The chemical structures of electrolyte candidates for the high throughput screening can be generated by creating derivatives of molecules that are already under investigation in literature or alternatively proposed um, by us or our experimental collaborators. This can be done through an automated molecule generator. For example, the quinoxalin molecule shown here has been demonstrated to undergo two reversible electron reductions. It has high solubility and low molecular weight. Therefore, it is considered as a promising candidate for an active low voltage molecule for a non aqueous redox flow battery. We can generate more quinoxalin based candidate for screening by adding substituents at various positions of the molecule. The substituents including electron withdrawing as well as electron donating functional groups. Either one or multiple positions can be substituted at a time. With this method, thousands of candidates can be generated and will be subject to computational screening as shown in the previous scheme. As an illustration of the down select process, we have here about 1,400 candidates uh, there are derivatives of quinoxidin, thiophin, thion, bipyridine, and anthroquinone. And we show how we down select those candidates uh, from the three properties we mentioned in our previous scheme. In summary, the, uh, this perspective we have written describes a computational strategy for screening multiple properties of advanced electrical energy storage electrolytes using high throughput quantum chemical calculations. This approach effectively downselects a large pool of candidates based on successive property evaluation to a much smaller number of candidates for synthesis and electrochemical testing. We anticipate that the computational approach described in this perspective, coupled with experimentation, will have a significant role to play in the discovery of materials for future energy needs.